In this final lesson of the intermediate part, step two, we are going to pattern the feature that we created in the previous lesson, this feature here. Now I purposely kept this lesson as a standalone lesson because I see many people taking the CSWA certification exam struggle with the use of the pattern commands. So make sure before you attempt the exam that you go back and brush up on linear pattern and circular pattern. Before we pattern this, let's go back to the testing screen. And looking at the directions, we see we need to add 10 of these cutouts. Back in SolidWorks, we will go to the Features ribbon, move over to Linear Pattern, click the drop down, select Circular Pattern. The very first item in the Property Manager prompts you for an access to Pattern About. Now we have several different cylinders here that all share a common axis. This inside cylinder, this outside tapered cylinder, this inside cylinder, this outside cylinder. We can select any one of these to give us the axis we need to pattern about. So I'm going to select the inside bore. We want these 10 cutouts to be equally spaced. So we want to make sure you have a check mark here and make sure you have the correct value here, which is 10 in this example. Moving down, we need to specify which features to pattern. Now you can go out to the screen and select the feature. I think it's better and safer to select it from the Feature Manager design tree. I selected Cut Extrude 1, that appears in the window, and now you see the preview. Let's go ahead and select the green check mark. Everything looks good. Now let's go to the Evaluate tab and check our mass properties. Our mass is 1200.89 grams. Let's go back to the testing screen and we see 1200.89 grams. So we did good.